Hey y'all. I'm wanting to talk about the hairy woman. The female Sasquatch. Bigfoot. Does she exist? Who knows? But I know there has been a lot of sightings just in my area alone here in eastern Kentucky of a huge, anywhere from eight to nine foot creature, hairy from head to foot, with big, huge breasts, reddish brown in color, and she, I know of three stories, I have done three interviews with three different people that live on Long Branch Hollow. And they are very believable people. So, let's get to the interviews. The first story I want to tell you is about Margaret Evans. Maiden name is McNeely. <clears throat> Her encounter happened uh, between James and Sally McNeely's drive and Junebug White's place, old homestead. <coughs> well, anyway, she swears to me, and I've got her interview, she'll tell you herself, that this big, reddish-brown, hairy creature come up from over the hill, right in front of her, she was pushing her bike, and... She wouldn't, but she she was just a child. She was 11, 12 years old when this happened. I can remember when it happened. Because she come home crying and screaming, nervous wreck. You, you just knew something happened. But she said that creature come up over the hill, stopped directly in front of her, looked at her, screamed, then ran back up the other side of the mountain. Now, this encounter didn't take but maybe a minute or so. But she says that she knew it was a female because it had big boobs that just, I mean, bounced as it ran up the mountain and as it stood in front of her. So, that's the first story. <coughs> the second story has to do with a and he told me this himself. You can believe me or not. Or you can believe him or not. But his name is Scotty Workman. He, he lived in a little old camper trailer up above our house where we lived. He camped out up there all the time. He had a few chickens, you know, a dog. And he drove a four-wheeler all the time up there. Well, anyway, he says he woke up one morning, chickens were scurrying on and stuff. Dog was a barking, and he went out to see what was going on. Couldn't see nothing, but he heard something up in the hills. <coughs> he figured it was cold. He said maybe a bobcat or something. But he got on his four wheeler, and he was headed to his uh, the Russell Workman's. And uh, just when he started up that four wheeler, this big hairy red reddish brown creature ran out of the woods, right toward him. He said he gave that four wheeler the gas, buddy, and took off naked. He split. Well, <clears throat> it caught up with him. That's how fast this creature can run. And it grabbed him by the back of the coat and several times tried to jerk him off the four-wheeler. Once, the last time it jerked him off, it did jerk him off. And uh, he fell back on his back and it jumped on top of him and he swears that creature tried to rape him and that it was a female and that it had large hairy breasts. So maybe there is some truth to this. But he swears it tried to rape him. Now that is a horrific story. I mean, I would have been a nervous wreck. I would have been scared to death. <coughs> oh, anyway. He told that story to all of us. Nobody believed him. I mean, he was, he drank a lot. They thought he was just got a drinking and just thought he seen something. 
probably was nothing but a bear. Even though he was skinned up. Messed up pretty bad from where it was clawing at him and trying to hold him down. But he managed to get away from it and get back on his four-wheeler and take off. He got away from it. So that's the second story. The third story deals with this, these two young boys. And uh, they wanted me to leave their names out of it, so I will. But they were up in the hills playing not far from their house in the mountains there. On Long Branch. <coughs> not far from uh, where... Uh, mm, where Tom and John Spears lives. Up in the hills. They were up there playing and they heard something up, uh, up further up on the hill from them. They looked up there and they said they seen this big, hairy, reddish brown creature. Looked to be like nine foot tall, and he described it as a hairy woman because it had long hair, scraggly looking hair. But it picked up a big limb, huge limb, and threw it at them boys. And they took off off that mountain, liggety split after that. Nobody believed them. But why would kids, this is the question, why would kids lie? Why would they claim to have seen something like this when really they didn't? I believe them. I believe all three of them. I've never seen nothing. I've never heard nothing. But I truly believe what they're saying. <clears throat> That's three stories. And I've got one live interview. I want you to hear. And I'll leave the rest up to y'all. But that's three different people who've seen the same thing, encountered the same creature on Long Branch Hollow alone. Now, I've lived there for, God, 40 some more years. I'm 53 years old. I was raised up on that holler. And. I've never heard nothing or seen anything, and I, I live in the hills practically. But that don't mean she don't exist. That don't mean nothing. Creatures tend to be able to camouflage themselves, be able to manage to hide when they want to. Even wild creatures like a salamander. You don't see them until they're over there, right up on you. Stealth creatures. Very secretive. But, what I'm wondering is, what do they eat? Are they herbivores? You know, eat berries, plants, dandelions maybe, wild lilies, apples, pears. Stuff that grow wild, you know, fruits and vegetables. Or are they uh, carnivores? Meat eaters? Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Someday. But, uh... Maybe they eat crawfish. Uh, minnows. Fish. Rabbits, maybe. Don't know. Time will tell, I guess. But, for now, I believe these three people. I truly do, with everything in me. I truly believe they seen something when they said they seen it. Especially my sister, Margaret. I mean, I can remember it plain as day. She was crying and screaming and trying to tell us what she had seen. And, People just shrugged it off, I mean. And they're just a kid. On a bike. Or pushing a bike. But, yeah. I believe there's things out there that are yet to be discovered. 